We were called to this meeting uh, to uh, receive information about the findings of the FBI in its last leg of the investigation into the lynching, the 1955 lynching of Emmett Till. And we have been working with the government for the last four years. Uh, Reverend Parker and Ms. Edwards uh, have been working with the FBI and receiving information. Um, uh, Reverend Parker, of course, is a uh, cooperating witness as well as a victim and a survivor of that night of terror in 1955. We have finally received um, findings from the, uh, the FBI related to the investigation that was launched with the uh, publication of uh, The Blood of Emmett Till by uh, Timothy Tyson in uh, February 2017, which, as you know, included what was reported to be a recantation by Carolyn Bryant, who accused Emmett Till of all kinds of atrocities uh, that ultimately uh, led to his lynching. Now, I'm just going to read one portion of this, uh, this letter that was issued to Reverend Parker uh, related to uh, this investigation. In 2017, Professor Timothy Tyson alleged that Carolyn Bryant, now Carolyn Donham, the wife of one of the confessed murderers and a witness to events leading up to the murder, had in an interview with him recanted previous accounts she had given of the circumstances surrounding Mr. Till's murder. In response, the department and the FBI examined whether Carolyn Bryant had recanted, and if so, whether she had information that would allow prosecution of any living person, including Carolyn Bryant herself. Following the exhaustive multi-year investigation, which included thoroughly reviewing that new evidence and examining the evidence gathered from an earlier investigation, we regret to inform you that for the reasons explained more fully below, we have not uncovered sufficient evidence to support a federal prosecution. The department re-examined Mr. Till's murder pursuant to the acts named in his honor, the Emmett Till Unsolved Civil Rights Crime Act, the Emmett Till Act, and its more recent reauthorization. The current re-examination of Mr. Till's murder was conducted by FBI special agents, assistant U.S. attorneys, and the local Mississippi District Attorney's Office, and experienced cold case attorneys in the Civil Rights Division. So. Um, you can imagine that this was quite a blow to the family, and they'll talk more about that. Uh, we now know that the case is closed, formally closed. It was opened in 2007. It was never actually closed, uh, even after the investigation then led to no indictments. Uh, so it was easy to reopen once this new evidence came to light. It is now officially closed without any um, recommendations for indictments without any indication that uh, there was any verifiable evidence that Carolyn Bryant actually recanted, despite what is published in the Timothy Tyson book. And there was no credible evidence that Timothy Tyson could provide that would have led to any further action in this case against Carolyn Bryant. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.